Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a few possible reasons why why you get this type of error, access denied for the user routes at localhost using password now. Um, sometimes you have already set up the all the settings uh, for the database on your project. For instance, here I have this project. Uh, this project is um, the Spring Boot application project and I'm using ZAM to connect to the database. Uh, so here we have my MySQL database and we have also Apache server. So sometimes you get this error. And um, if you're doing the same kind of project, uh, you know we have, you have the settings. Um, let's go to the application properties. And uh, as you, you may see, the Spring data source URL, I have it here correctly uh, set up. And here the name of the database is Airbnb. And here the um, the username is root and the password is empty. So it depends on the how you configure this. You may also have the same settings. So most of the time I I don't like to, I don't put passwords on my projects when I they are I mean on the development. So I don't like to put passwords so I leave it empty. But you can set the best password on this um, uh, ZAM uh, control panel. So um, the first reason why you get this error when you try to restart. Like for example, here I try to restart this project and then I get this access denied for user roots. The first possible reason is that this Apache in MySQL is not yet started. You understand? That's you need to start the 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 Apache, and then also you start MySQL. Yeah. So on my pre previous videos, I've showed you if in case if you cannot start this, for example, here you see I get this error. Um, how you can just try to figure out which port is using this MySQL and shut it down, and then. Uh, you can watch my previous video you see how to locate the port i using the service that you don't want so for in this case i already know which port is using this service so just go to uh, uh, right click on the on the tax bar and then we go to the tax manager and on tax manager uh, because i already know which service is using this port i can just scroll down and look for search for this service is um should be here let me show you well, of course this is not the aim of this project i mean of this tutorial but uh, uh, because I, I have to start and show you. So this is my SQL, uh, SQL LD that is using this service. So I have to shut this down. I don't need it. So anytime I come back here, um, I can start this project. Okay, now you see it start from here. So if you don't know how to do this, or you want to locate uh, this service like the way I showed you, then you have, have done this video before. So you just go to those video and search for the uh, process ID, and then locate the port number, and then right click here and end the task. That's how you you are able to do that. So this is one possible way of fixing this problem if you're facing this problem see this problem so um so number one is that if you don't really have a password so you have to set up a password if you have set a password on your project as i showed you here if you have a password you need to put the password here i mean put the uh, you need to give the password this i mean this uh, spring data source password here if you have set a password on this um, sql how would you get there uh, you click this admin button I can also try to open this MySQL. Okay, now here you see, you need to do the settings here on how to set up a password. For me, I don't have password. So for this one also, you have another tutorial for to do that. You can just go to my channel and search for this. You see how I show you how to set up a user account and put the password. So for this, in this case, I do not have, I'm using the root as a username and the password as empty. So, um, so that is number one reason why uh, you probably get in this kind of error. So you need to set a password. So as this error is showing, so, but not always that you may have a password, but still you get this error. So I said, uh, the second option is that when you haven't started this the Apache in MySQL server, so, so this is going to report as a access denied for this, and then you still get all this error. Um, it's going to be like also access denied user roots, and um, and also you can check you can have also this cannot invoke this uh, engine because because it needs it's required that MySQL have to be running. Uh, so you get all this error, but this the biggest. And it's going to have like calls. The calls unable to create a request service on her. So you get this all this kind of error and unable, unable to determine the, the, the dialect without JDBC metadata. So the cause root or the root codes is this one. So you have to fix this one. So again, you put the password, you try again. If it doesn't work, then you have to make sure that all these are running. This I mean the, the Apache and the MySQL, they are running. And then the last reason why this is going to happen, why you're gonna get this error, is because you have defined the database here on the on this file but you haven't created this file i mean this database this spring is not going to create this database automatically for you so you need to come here uh, i mean here to this uh, admin php my admin and then you create a new database and then you have to name your dat database for in my case i name it like airbnb, Air, I mean airbnb database so that's why uh, on these settings here i have defined it here so if you run this project without 
with this Airbnb database and without creating this database on the my admin, the PhD my admin, then you're going to receive this error. So I have shown you the uh, three possible uh, reasons why you're getting this error. So number one is when you don't have a password and you're supposed to have password, but in this case I don't have password. So you need to set up a password. Number two, you need to uh, restart or to start this, this server, the Apache and also MySQL, they have to be running before you can run this project. And the third one, you need to define the database here and you create this physically database on your, my, this, I mean, on your PHMI admin, you have to create this database. And then that's when, when you restart the server now, I mean this uh, application again, because I have, I have um, put everything as it's supposed to be. So now you can see that, uh, let's see if we get the, the outcomes. Okay, the Tomcat is started on uh, 555 because that's how it's stated here on this server. And uh, this shows that when you see, you can either um, restart or rerun again, and here you can stop the server. So when you see this button here, then you know that um, this application is, is running and uh, there is no issues regarding connection to the database. So as you can see here, it's also showing that, um, um, it's also showing the system has connected to the database. Uh, let me show you here. Yeah, yeah, Hika, Hika pool added connection. Yeah, so this is all started and it's complete and uh, also have the memory database also also available at this and um, you can see um, JPA, JTPA and the JPA Entity Manager Factor Persistence Unit Default Hibernate Class if applicable. So this shows that the, this application is all running and it's connected to the database. So thank you guys and remember to subscribe.